For the last 10 years, neighbors in this community watched this car wash go from bad to worse, collecting litter, even crime, to the point that the property is completely unusable. Well, they called us asking if anything could be done, so we tracked down the owner to find out. It's kind of the one one eyesore in the neighborhood. There's uh, empty beer cans and things in the back of it in the night, so that's that's just sad to see this happen to our neighborhood. It's been happening a long time, according to city records. Nine code violations since 2012, the most recent in November for litter. I've seen whole couches piled by the dumpster. It's like people just use it as a dumping ground a lot of times. The biggest complaint is that it attracts a lot of litter. Is there anything that can be done about that? Yeah, keep off my property. It turns out Bellevue Councilman-elect Pat Shannon owns the car wash. Shannon says he bought the property in 2015, submitted these plans for renovation, but keeps getting his permits denied by the city. Seven, I believe, so far. Instead of submitting his plans an eighth time, he ran for city council instead. I mean, is this one of the reasons you ran for council is because of this property? Yes because I could not get certain people on the council to get out of my way. Uh, they wanted to block this just because I was the owner of it. Shannon says he wants neighbors to know he'll renovate as soon as the city lets him. It would be nice to have, have a car wash in the neighborhood right now. I have to drive clear out to Fort Crook or Papillion if I want to wash my truck. I want to see him clean it up first. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't see that happening. I, I, there's, there's a body of evidence that says that this person may not be a good representative for the city of Bellevue. Shannon believes there's other property owners out there whose projects are also caught up in red tape. He hopes to get those approved and make Bellevue a more inviting place for redevelopment, not discouraging it. At 20th and Capehart, Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7.